Hey guys, I'm Matt Joseph Diaz, working in conjunction with Ravishy.com, and today I want to talk a little bit about education. Now, I've talked before about some of my problems with our current educational system. If you want to see that video, you can just click right here and it'll lead you right to it. But today I want to talk to you about an alternative form of education, why it interests me so much. This alternative form of education is called unschooling, and I didn't even know it existed before a couple days ago. And in a lot of ways, the name is really accurate. Unschooling students learn through their natural life experiences, including play, household responsibilities, personal interests and curiosity, internships and work experience, travel, books, elective classes, family mentors and social interaction. Unschooling encourages exploration of activities initiated by the children themselves believing that the more personal learning is, the more meaningful, well understood, and therefore useful it is to the child. That was a lot of words, but essentially unschooling is the exact opposite of our current educational system. Instead of the series of standardized lessons that get taught to every person, every single sort of lesson is spearheaded by the child themselves. And that's such an interesting idea to me because I feel like one of our biggest problems in our current educational system is that while you do learn a lot of stuff, you don't cultivate a love of learning. And because of our current system, we have a lot of smart, curious children who are just bad at taking tests, who deal with anxiety, who get nervous, and and quite honestly, it dissuades them from wanting to learn more. Children are naturally curious. Children want to learn everything. My life would have been so different had I spent my younger years cultivating my curiosity and developing a love of learning rather than worrying about the practicality of the knowledge that I was picking up. When you create an environment where your students want to learn things because they're afraid of failure or bad grades and not because they actually love learning and are naturally curious, you instill an idea in their minds as children where knowledge only has value if it's immediately marketable and practical. Why should I pursue this dream of mine? I don't immediately know that I could get work in that field. And that's exactly what happened to me. I wanted to be a writer since I was 10 years old, and I told basically every teacher that I ever went through in school about this. Do you know what each of them told me? Oh, you can never get a job as a writer. Uh, you have to pursue something more realistic. So I went and got a degree in a field I didn't really like, worked in that field for five years, and then quit and became a writer anyway. And in the abstract, this is one of the biggest things I like about the idea of unschooling. It cultivates an environment where you're encouraged to learn more at a young age, where your curiosity isn't boxed into these things that only we think work in our modern society. Because the truth is, humanity dictates culture, it's not the other way around. Things like the arts might not seem like such a viable and marketable thing right now, but if enough of us really pursued it and really wanted it, it could happen. And I really do believe that a system that feeds into the innate thirst for knowledge that lives inside of every human being at a young age is a way to create a brighter and better future. So what do you think about unschooling? If you want to know more, I'm going to put some links down there. You can totally check them out and we can have a discussion about it. And as always, check out bravishy.com for a bunch of great articles, including stuff that I write. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all at Matt Joseph Diaz. And if you want to support the work I do here, you can check out mattjosephdiaz.com slash donate. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.